Hi guys, uh, the cat here. Um, I just made a video and you're going to be seeing an unboxing um, and purchase of what I did. Um, towards the end of the video I talk about wire gauge um, and I noticed while uh, reviewing it that I messed up. Um, wire gauge is um, the higher the number, the worse the gauge. Uh, and gauge is kind of like uh, how thick the metal is, uh, how much bounce it has, uh, how, how easy it is to bend, break, other things like that. So the lower the number of the gauge, the better it is. Uh, 14 is better than a 24, 18 is better than a 36, etc, etc. So I was saying that the the gauge I was saying it wrong <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> well I do know that I messed up but yeah I uh, definitely want to correct myself here by saying uh, the gauge is probably around a 20 to a 30 well, I wouldn't say a 30, actually. I'd probably say around a 20, 24. Maybe even a 28, but I doubt it. Um, gauge. I don't think it's an 18 gauge. Um, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't have a gauge reader. <laughs> Wire gauge reader. Um, so, what I'm saying is... kind of take that last part with a grain of salt and don't scorn me too bad for it <laughs> okay uh, don't forget to like subscribe comment on my videos let me know what I can do better and what I am not doing so great remember I'm new at this I haven't really uh, done many videos yet just started uh, when I got my puppy and he's down there. But, uh, so like, subscribe, share, and comment. Especially if you like, uh, my videos. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hi, guys. It's Kat. So I just went to Target. Just got back. And I went there to get a tripod for my phone. And when I was there, at that first section there, you always got to check that out, see what's there. Sometimes they got crowded. Mm, not great stuff. Sometimes it's really, really nice. They had these, like, those, like, uh, frame boxes that, you know, the wooden standout boxes that you hang on the wall that you can put stuff on. They had those, the wooden ones. And then they had a lot of organization boxes and desk organization stuff and other things like that and all of it was five dollars or less so let's see what i got so the first thing i found was this uh file organizer and i don't think i'm going to use it for files i think i'm going to see if i can bend it maybe because it does seem to be a little bit bendable and use it from the lids of my pots and pans I don't know if it'll work. I may end up just using it as a file organizer. If so, no big deal. Second thing I got are these um, file stands, you know, um, also file organizers or binder organizers or whatever you want to call them. You stick things in here and it contains it both front, back, and sides. Now this, I have been looking for these. Um, I heard that these are the best way to organize uh, large lids and stuff in my kitchen. And if it works, great. Second thing I got, oh, we'll get back to that. I want to do an unboxing of this one. Second thing I got was a to-do list organizer. It's a huge pad of paper. You know, individual papers. I haven't opened it yet. As you see, I just got back. 
And it says, so much to do. Has a bunch of lines you can write what you need to do on. And then little check boxes next to it, which you then check off to when you finish the, the task. And then down at the bottom here, it has the days of the week, Monday through Saturday, Sunday. They combine that one uh, for writing uh, appointments or whatever else, you know, important things. Then, now these these uh, four items, these four items were only $3 each. So that's $12 right there for nice heavy duty metal. I mean, these are really, really good. I mean, it's not professional, uh, never gonna break type thing, but they are really nice and it's metal and black which comes in handy solid bottom little feet on them so these should work for something if nothing else I can put my pasta standing into it and organize that that way or I can even use it as to put folders and stuff in but okay next item oh, save that one this now you're going, what is that? Well, it is a metal pegboard. And it comes with clips. Now, these clips, I haven't opened it yet, but this is what they look like. They have the these ones here. You hook them through, and it just hangs, and you can hang things on them. And then... These are just like little ball ones with little balls on the end. Good for like necklaces or stuff like that. These ones here, I have hooks and it comes with four of them each. And this was only $5. And it's a decent size. I mean, there's the sizing right there. And it's $5. So I got this. Then I found these two items. Now, this is a monthly calendar to write appointments and other stuff. And since my parents are seeing a lot of, I'm taking care of them. I'm a home health, in-home supportive caregiver. There we go. I'm a caregiver for my parents. I don't get paid for it, but my mom can barely move now. And my dad has Parkinson's and dementia. <laughs> Chewie's going nuts so it's here. <laughs> he wants to see too. Yes, you are. You're going nuts. Can I have my fingers back? I know. I know. I know. Look how tall he's gotten. Remember when he was like barely up to my ankle? About the size of my foot? Yeah, I love you. Alright, so this one I got mainly because I can leave this up front or out here with my dad and my mom because they're constantly every day asking me, what's the appointments today? What do we have going on this week? So I figured this one would be good because it has a styrofoam or um, no, what is this? Cork. It has a cork board at the bottom to like pin in like business cards and appointment reminders, things like that. And then the top area, I can write down appointments that they have and stuff like that. And they can stop asking me five minutes, every five minutes, every day. And then I got a larger one. I might have to turn it. So, uh, no, just zoom back. Okay. So I got this larger one here, and it's also a monthly calendar, and um, both of these are 18 months, by the way. So they both cover from, from this month until the following of it, the end of next year. So 
I won't have to worry about these for like a year and a half. But they are plain, but I can put priorities, you know, things that are really important up here for them. I can write in, you know, what appointments they have, uh, people's birthdays, uh, if we have to go somewhere or do anything, those can all be in here. So I got these two. I figure if I get two of them, um, it shouldn't be a problem. If nothing else, maybe I'll keep this one in my room, hang it up on my wall, and put this one down here for mom and dad. I can even, you know, use the book stand. Yes, this is a uh, recipe book stand. I bake a lot. But I can even, you know, leave it like that if I have to. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to do that. One thing I noticed I didn't like about these two items. There is no way to hang it on a wall. No kickstand to, you know, let it stand up by itself. Nothing. They are flat, both of them. So, <clears throat> these were $5. These three things were $5 each. So that's $15. So, so far, I spent with these three and these four, I spent a total of $27, not including tax, of course. Now, this is what I actually went there for. This is a Joby Telepod Mobile. Telepod. It's supposed to be able to become a, tri a tripod. It can be a selfie stick. Um can actually hold um, another, I'm not sure what that is, some kind of, maybe like a GoPro, I'm not sure what a GoPro is. And then can telescope. Now it's supposed to be able to hold my phone, which is a Galaxy Note 9. It says it holds, um, where is it? Oh, here it is. It says it holds uh, from 2.2 to 3.6 inch. Or 56 to 91 millimeter. Um, comes with a remote control. It's a impulse Bluetooth remote. Again, the name is Joby. And these are the back. This is the back. Telepod uh, mobile with quarter to quarter inch to 20 extended from 19 oh extends from 19 to 26 centimeters or seven and a half to 22 inches as uh, a quarter inch 20 uh, probably bolt or screw to like attach other items uh, grip tight one mount so I can actually use this, you know, in my hand, you know, hold it like so, extended or not extended. Uh, it has a impulse Bluetooth remote, removable wrist strap. That's this part right here, I'm assuming. Um, supplied with go tight, one mobile and impulse, and little Chewy is pulling on my leg. What? What are you doing? Oh, you're just being that way, huh? You're just being that way? Yeah? Well, stop pulling on my leg. <laughs> you're such a goofy. Alright, where was I? So, uh, remote to pair with any phone size. Um... 
I'm just going to show these real quick. Uh, you can stop and play them. Grip or stand for different uh, scenarios. Um, so it's adaptable. That's what this means. Extends, which I like. That's kind of what I was looking for. Uh, fiberglass reinforced legs. Um, uh, oh, the holes on the feet can be used to secure, tie, or stick down. That's cool. Um, then uh, it goes into some foreign language. I think it just goes into the foreign language on the same stuff. Now, there's a yeah, it's just saying it's a trade the Bluetooth symbol is trademarked. All right, so let's open this bad boy up. Yes, I do have box cutters, but I'm in the kitchen, and this is kind of what I use every time. Just a little knife stand over here. It has these tiny little knives. I guess it's a cheese board, but I never use it for that. <laughs> All right, let's uh, open this sucker up. And I'm doing this one-handed because I don't have my stand yet. That's what this is. <laughs> I can stop holding it all the time. Okay, what do we got? Okay, opened it upside down. <laughs> Anything else in here? Nope. So there's nothing else in there. On the back, it comes with some uh, instructions. I'll read those over. Uh, Telepod Mobile. Well, I guess this is for the remote. That's for the actual telepod. So it's two sets of, remote of instructions. Take a look at those. Um, turning it around. It's actually quite compact. Oh, it feels good in my hand, which is nice. I like that. So this is the strap. It is removable. But if you have your phone hooked to it, you can go around and take pictures or do whatever you need to do without, without, whoops, you know, not going to hit the ground. <laughs> All right, so let's see what else is on here. Has this? Uh, rem this is the remote, and actually, um, not well. It just sits in this little hole here. So I'll have to read all the instructions before I mess with that. Um, let's see what else. This is actual phone part and I hope it extends because otherwise it will not hold my phone uh, if you know the galaxy it yeah it will unfortunately it's really tight okay then there's this screw now I can actually not feel the fingers on my right hand, my fingertips, anyways. Um, carpal tunnel or something else. All right, let's see if I can like maneuver this to where you can actually see what I'm doing. Let's see if I can maneuver this to so you can see what I'm doing. Ah, there. 
I'm going to use the little stand we got here. There we go. Uh, like I said. Okay, there it goes. There's the, the extension. Oh, wow. And it's coming out more and more and more. It's actually quite tall. So that's on my counter. See, it's about to my head height. So, you know, counter height is, uh, for a kitchen, is 36 inches high. And it uh, goes uh, about my eye level. So, don't pay attention to the mess on my counter, please. I'm not sure how to lock it in place. I'm sure there is a way to do so. Oh, okay. No. Oh boy. So. Okay. No, nope, that's unlocked. here so there's this uh, little lock unlock twist thing that stands up pretty nicely like I said and there's this arrow on this red bit here and I guess this is to lock And it's tight. There we go. This part. Yep. So that's to lock that. But how? This part keeps dropping. So. <laughs> how do I get that to not do that? Hmm. Anyways, so. Um, these aren't lining up. Oh, maybe it keeps twisting. Okay, so I have an idea. About, all right, so I have an idea about how this is going to lock into place. And I think, see, if there's this groove here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. Right there. And it goes all the way down. However, this part is slightly off center from this one. And I th turned it. And this one too. And that's, they, as you see, they're not, it's not dropping past this point. So what I'm thinking is I need to turn that one also Yep, that's it. I could force it down, but it turns if you do that. But yeah, for just. Anyways, so at Target, this item was. Uh, when I went into Target, I went to get this like ten dollar little one that the legs like fluctuate, and it doesn't really stand higher than the base here. I mean, it was a really really tiny one you know it's like my phone would be right here but you know I figured ten dollars I could do it. no big deal you know I could get a better one later on however when I went in there and that the one I was looking for was the one that was in this section you know the little three to uh, dollar to th five dollar section of uh, as soon as you go in the doors. Um, but they didn't have it. That's how I found all this stuff, though. <laughs> um, instead, I had to hobble back to the um, electronics section. And 
I was looking for an extending one like this and they didn't have any but um, in that section that I was looking at with all the other tripods they only had those for the camera slash camcorder ones but um, so I asked the um, lady there if they had any that extended and the lady went around the corner and brought back this one and she told me at that point that it was $29.99 $30 for this I was like cool okay yeah I'll get it why not it's only $20 more it extends it looks like it's better made I'll do it um, then I went straight to the to the uh, checkout stand and put all my other stuff through and then they rang this up and it came out $59.99 it's $30 more and I went what no 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 the lady told me it was $29.99 so they had a call back there she confirmed it was $29.99 and lo and behold I got it for $29.99 when it was actually supposed to be I guess $59.99 oh there's this little hole here I guess that's for a screw or maybe this is the screw I think this is the screw I'll probably hook up like a camcorder or something with the screw or maybe a GoPro on this stand and it folds down quite nicely I know I'm gonna have fun with this <laughs> but anyways so this is my big purchase I'm gonna get it set up I'm gonna take it outside and you're gonna hopefully be able to watch me uh, mow and scarify and seed my front yard and then we'll see from there don't forget to like and subscribe uh, had a little bit of all sorts of stuff in here today a little bit about Chewy, a little bit of purchase, a little bit of unboxing, explanation here. But yeah, make sure when you're at a store and if a employee uh, gives you a price for an item, make sure you get their name. Because if you get to the check stand and that item rings up much higher than or even a little bit higher than they were you were told you can actually not i'd say nine times out of ten get the item marked down to the price that the employee stated it was now if they it rings up less huh, i wouldn't even bring it up but if it rings up more, you can mention, you can tell them, you know, how much you were quoted by the employee, give them the name. They can contact that employee. That employee can then uh, confirm or deny. Nine times out of ten, they're going to confirm it. Um, if, if that's exactly what they said, then that's, then that's what they'll confirm. But... They can deny or confirm that price. And if they confirm it, um, nine times out of ten, they will give you the item for that price. So that's why it's important to get the employee's name who quoted you the price on the item. Now, I wouldn't do it with these little items here. Besides, they all have the price tag on them right there three dollars you know and it's metal for three dollars that's actually pretty I say that is appropriate 
yeah, I might be able to go to the dollar store and find some cheaper metal and do it that way. But I believe this is, I don't think it's 18 gauge metal, but it might be 16 or maybe 14 or 12. And even that's pretty good, um, you know, gauge. Um, I doubt they are 24 gauge or even 32 gauge. Now with gauge, uh, when you're looking at the gauge of a metal, uh, the lower the number, the higher quality of the metal. So an 18 gauge is better than a 14 gauge. Or sorry, a 14 gauge is better than an 18 gauge. Ah, so like I said, I don't think these are 14 or 18. Um, I would not doubt that there are 16, or not 18, um, not 16, sorry, 24, maybe even 20 gauge. Um, and gauge means like the thickness and how well it stands to bending and breaking and things like that. Now, on these kind of things, the most you have to worry about is uh, soldering. And yes, they have been soldered. You're not going to get metal to metal without it being soldered. At least not that and keeping it that way. And when a metal item like this breaks, it almost always breaks at the solder point where it was soldered. If you know how to solder something, you can get it, you can fix it yourself. If you don't, you can buy a soldering iron or whatever and try to repair it, but you also need to buy um, the correct soldering wire. Yes, I took metal class. <laughs> In high school, I took metal, cl metal class. I actually made a toolbox and some other items. Um, so, little information there, little fun facts. I'm going to read over these instructions and make sure I'm doing this right because I don't want to mess up this thing. I cannot afford to get a new one or even taking it back. I'm, they might replace it if I took it back, if I had to take it back. But I think they were saying, I think the lady was saying it was that marked down to 29 because it was um, either out of stock or no, being, no longer being made or something. I'm not really sure. You know, I'm not 100% positive on what it is. Why it was, why it was that. It might also have been a um, missed markdown. You know, mess up. And if so, woohoo, I got lucky. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to read over these, make sure I know how to use the remote, um, check these things out, and then I will get to the lawn care. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And oh, yeah, this is the holes where it can be pegged down into the ground or strapped down. There's a hole up here and a hole down here on every leg. So that also means I can also move this. If it's in the way, I can move it over here or here. Or use them as to drive a stake or a pin through. I wouldn't recommend that. If you're going to do that, I would use these bottom holes. But I don't know. I think I'll just, uh, I'm going to read over the directions. I'll probably just stand it up and have it so you guys can watch. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.